As technology evolves, CGI has become a prevalent tool filmmakers use for the visual effects they need in their movies. Just about anything is possible with computers, meaning that the only limit is the director's imagination. While digital effects are extremely photorealistic in an easy, safer method, there are those who still prefer to do things the old-fashioned way. Practical effects still have a place in Hollywood and are arguably making a comeback in big-budget productions. Here are 10 amazing movie special effects that are not CGI. The Dark Knight Rises In the opening sequence of this threequel, Bane and his mercenaries hijack a CIA plane and crash it, jumping to another aircraft for their getaway. It seems like a no-brainer for CGI, but Christopher Nolan did it for real. Stuntmen jumped out of a real C-130 jet in the beginning, and their exterior shots on the CIA plane were accomplished by hanging a piece of fuselage from a helicopter. A model was used for the part where the plane's wings blew off, and an actual aircraft was dropped from the sky at the end. What's even harder to believe? The jaw-dropping scene took only two days to film. Star Wars The Force Awakens J.J. Abrams used motion capture for two new characters in his Star Wars sequel, but the lovable droid BB-8 was the real deal. Seven props were constructed for the film, including one that had to be operated by a puppeteer. Having an actual robot on set was beneficial for actors Daisy Ridley and John Boyega, who shared a number of scenes with BB-8 in the movie's first act. Knowing that the droid was a practical effect was a prime example of movie magic, and wowed fans that saw BB-8 attend conventions and events throughout the year. It was so successful, Ryan Johnson will be using the props for Episode 8. Speed This action thriller was made before CGI became too advanced, so the filmmakers had no choice but to pull off one of the film's most daring stunts for real. In one sequence, the bus has to jump over a 50-foot gap in the incomplete highway so it can keep going. A ramp was built and an actual bus accelerated to 61 miles per hour. The vehicle traveled 109 feet through the air, and the front wheels reached an altitude of 20 feet from the ground. It was a greater leap than anyone anticipated, and the bus went out of frame due to incorrect camera placement. The gap was added digitally, but that was the easy part. Skyfall In the cold open of this James Bond film, 007 tracks his prey to a train, and they engage in a fight on top of it. The actors, including Daniel Craig, were attached to the speeding locomotive by extremely thin wires while they acted out the physical scene. This was the only thing keeping them from falling off to impending doom. It was a highly dangerous stunt, but it added authenticity to the project and delivered a hard-hitting sequence that Bond fans won't soon forget. The Craig era has been defined by practical visual effects, and this is quite possibly the finest instance of that. Jurassic Park Steven Spielberg's seminal tale of dinosaurs brought back to life was noteworthy for ushering in CGI effects and pushing the next wave of technology forward, but he still found the time to blend the two techniques seamlessly. A good portion of the dinosaur footage was handled practically, including a full-scale animatronic T-Rex. For the famous sequence of raptors hunting the kids in the kitchen, performers were wearing rubber suits as opposed to being digitally inserted in post. Maybe this is why the film holds up more than 20 years later. It wasn't too reliant on CG and maintained real-world elements. The Amazing Spider-Man Sam Raimi's trilogy used digital effects to show Peter Parker swinging through New York. So Mark Webb tried something different for the reboot. The 2012 film used stuntmen hanging from wires that were allegedly no thicker than a bootlace, 60 feet in the air. The wire was connected to a winch on a rail, which would move down to create the full arc of the swing. It's kind of incredible that Webb went to these lengths to bring Spider-Man alive, demonstrating extra determination and effort. Hopefully the MCU films with the new Spider-Man will carry over some of these techniques to ground the hero in reality. 127 hours. When a character needs to lose a limb nowadays, the easy trick is to cover it in a green sleeve and remove it later in post. For the infamous arm cutting sequence of the biopic 127 hours, director Danny Boyle relied on classic prosthetics. Three fake arms were created for the scene. One was a recreation of James Franco's arm, and the other two contained the muscle and bone he needed to chop through. They were made in a way that Franco shouldn't have been able to cut all the way through, but that's exactly what he did when the camera started to roll, and the take ended up in the finished film. Star Trek To deactivate Nero's drill, Kirk, Sulu, and a poor red shirt need to perform a jump from space into Vulcan's atmosphere. Initially filming the actors on harnesses facing downward, J.J. Abrams had to resort to a different method because they kept passing out. It wasn't CGI. Abrams shot the actors standing on mirrors from an angle so that the reflection of the sky from behind them created the illusion of them falling through the air. It would have been simple to stick them in front of a green screen, but this proved to be a creative solution to the problem and nobody knew the difference when watching it for the first time. The Dark Knight The centerpiece of The Dark Knight is the car chase through Gotham City, where the Joker attempts to take out an armored vehicle escorting Harvey Dent. 
Always one for practical effects, Christopher Nolan crafted it so it could all be captured in camera. This included the money shot of the sequence, an 18-wheeler flipping over in the streets. The crew actually used a real truck for filming, building a steam piston mechanism in the trailer to create the needed upward force. After testing it out, they closed off a section of Chicago and flipped the truck, delivering an iconic cinematic moment. Inception. That's right, Nolan does it again. By now fans are aware that Joseph Gordon-Levitt's hotel fight was accomplished by building a rotating set. But Christopher Nolan did even more outrageous things practically. When the team enters the first dream level in the third act, a train comes shooting through the street, knocking over all the cars in its path. A life-size train was actually constructed and then molded to a semi, which would then drive through the set creating the needed effect. Even though the train is only in the film for a fleeting moment, it was still important for the crew to do it for real, and audiences are all the more appreciative of their efforts. Those are just some of the most incredible instances of practical effects being used instead of digital. Which ones are your favorites? Sound off in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fun videos like this one.